Howdy. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? I'm going how's it good. going? Yeah, pretty good. Um, I really love that session uh, about standards versus expectations and learning how to never be disappointed. Um, it's one of my favorite ones to, to, to run because, you know, we kind of go really deep into the same thing but looking at it from a few different lenses so that it really like helps people to recognize it for what it is so that we can be empowered and actually, you know, learn and grow basically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just love how it flows knowing that the big things that we go through in life are actually still the little things and it all actually is the same pattern and the same flow of what can happen in life which is our you know our trajectory is going to have the ebbs and flows and when we have those moments where we feel like we've failed it's where so much growth can happen but it's where we can make decisions that actually change the trajectory big decisions from something small um, can really impact where we you know our path gets chosen or where we choose the path so yeah so I agree with you it's very very big very fascinating yeah well the, the other thing that that the, the, the fundamental premise of this is that when we try to wait when we Oops. try to um set ourselves up for uh disappointment it's because we're thinking that everything's always just going to work out mm. now the fact is it's not always going to work out <laughs> And realistic order, expectations, right? Well, that's it. This is where the standards versus expectations comes in. And in order for us to be good at really anything, we need to go through the lessons of knowing what challenge looks like there, especially if we want to sustain that success. And we we talked about, you know, the trust fund babies versus the, you know, the, the person who came from zero and had to work and grind and, you know, fail and learn and continuously build mm. their um their abilities and the strength up here, the resilience to keep going, they sustain success longer than somebody who just had it, you know, given to them on a silver platter mm. and uh, didn't have to work for it because yeah. they haven't learned how to adjust and evolve when things get tricky. They haven't learned how to build that resilience when things get hard. And so the yeah. propensity to remain successful or continue on the trajectory are limited compared to the person who knows what that's about mm. and has trained themselves to be capable of just going, well, that's just another thing we've got to get around now. It's not the showstopper that's preventing me from having success. It's just another thing that leads to more success if I'm prepared to go through it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the part where, where we talk about that disappointments that we have within ourselves the disappointments that we can have with not getting a job or, you know, creating the outcome that we wanted or the disappointment that comes from when people let us down. It's all, you know, a process which can stop us in our tracks or halt us in our consistency. You know, when something takes you down or knocks you back or <clears throat> you have that carpet swept from underneath you because a hurdle came, you know, we can, we can be down and out trying to regroup and regather for you know two hours or two weeks or two months or two years depending on the level of what's happening and that consistency is where then we get frustrated and, you know it just becomes this flow on effect that how it then affects our lives and then how we our awareness is is decreasing so we're not open to opportunities we're not on that trajectory of um, being able to take everything that comes at us with an opportunity to either learn or grow or be successful and it's really big it can be like the littlest of things can really give us um you know daily confirmations especially if our internal language when we do get a disappointment becomes oh you know that's the way it always works out yep i knew that i shouldn't have tried because i knew that's how it works out well, I knew um, it, you yeah. know that internal language and then the conflict that comes with that is huge these tiny little things, you know, it's like that analogy with the water dripping on a stone. A tiny drip of water over time can break a massive boulder through that consistency of that negative thought or that negative experience or those decisions that we make that don't actually serve us well. So it's it's so 
it's not to be taken lightly, but at the end of the day, the process is actually quite simple, is that when we do have those, those hurdles and those failures, it's like being able to flip it in that moment and go, okay, well, what can I learn from this? What can I do? What action steps can I take? It doesn't always work like that. Sometimes no, it, it takes not. us out a bit longer than what we planned or hoped. But I, I love how you go through that real standard versus expectations and the difference between the two is very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that's the thing that if you can see it for what it is, um, it can go from totally disempowering and then, like you said, we start to judge ourselves for not something, for not succeeding, for failing, for not being able yet, not having, not having learned the skill yet. I mean, oh, I can't. I'm just, I'm not good at this. You know, I haven't even tried. I've already put that expectation. Unless I'm perfect, then I'm not even going to bother. But in the moments when we do pursue, if you can just figure that one part out when it's low, that's your opportunity. When it's high, it's easy. Mm. When you're in a high, when it's working out, I got this. I'm not having to challenge myself at all. This is great. But you're not learning yeah. anything new yeah. except what does work. But what if something goes wrong now? Are you going to give up because it was hard for a second? Mm. Think about all the success you've just had. You're going to give up on all that just because one thing went a little bit wrong right now? Yeah. And I, I think what happens is when we experience uncomfortableness, you know, we've hit that point where we've had a hurdle or a bump or a pothole or whatever it is, whatever analogy sits well with you, a lot of the time we're not conditioned to and who wants to sit in pain or uncomfortableness. So we we do whatever we need to take to get out of that and a lot of it's coping mechanisms and masking. Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'll be right. And we mask and we self-avoid and we mask. And then before we know it, we've got years down the track and those masks have become a thick layer of many. Walls. And we've forgotten who we are because we've put so many masks on to cope. And that's where we can be really unraveled because for so long, the, the situation has become just a coping mechanism because life is just throwing lots at us. And we haven't been taught these skills from a young age. So, yeah, it's a very powerful um, process to be able to sit with the failures and learn from them. Yeah. Not easy, but possible. Very possible. But the yeah. first thing is, as we always say, it's having the awareness and understanding what's going on and then just going, okay, well, accept it for what it is. Now yeah. what? Awareness, yeah, exactly. acceptance, action. Yeah. You know, 100%. It's absolute goal right there for people to take from. And, yeah. and it does it, again, like you said, it's not always easy, but if you can see it for what it is for the first time, you see it again the second time. You see it again a third time. Well, once you've seen it enough times, there's enough evidence to say, okay, well, I'm willing to accept this. Mm. But if you do it, yeah, life is where you make it, Kesha. That's exactly right. So the ultimate thing here is to just recognize that you are capable, we are all capable of really anything, but it's in the low moments that we actually learn and grow the most. And that's where we know who we're going to, we're going to be the type of person that can sustain success, sustain the things we want long-term because we know what it's like to push through when it's hard. But if we don't push through when it's hard, you know, it's only going to take a, a tiny little thing to go wrong for us to probably give up, even though it might be working out really well. Mm. So it does require it of us to go through some adversity and some challenges to really be good at the thing that we want or to have the things that we want. Because we need to learn from those experiences. And we learn the most when we succeed and fail, not just when we succeed. Absolutely. And I think one of the key points out of all of this, if you're listening to this replay, is a lot of the time we, we're good at pushing through, but we're pushing through with the avoidance and pretending everything's okay with that mask. The key is to actually allow time to be present with our actual thoughts, with our actual feelings, so that we can really see it for what it is to then find those good questions and those good tools to, to be able to get you out of that. But a lot of the time we're just, we 
don't want it. We want to get out of it as quickly as possible. So let's just push on. And I've definitely done that in the past and now being able to take stock in that moment and say no to a few things so that I can spend time with self to figure out what it is I'm actually feeling because that's where we can move forward in the right path to get us to where we want to rather than dancing around sometimes, which we all do. Well, then it, it just ensures that you're, you're focusing on what really matters That's and right. that you're focusing on what the truth is. You know, if you set the trajectory from that place of truth, you know and can trust even more with a level of courage that it's the right thing to do. Probably it makes it easier to find that, you know, that growth mindset of I'm, I'm happy to learn here because I know this is what needs to happen mm. versus I'm not sure. I haven't sat with myself. I don't know if it's right. Therefore, I'm willing to give up more easily. Yeah, exactly. So that truth exactly. becomes yeah. so important. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's very, it's very cathartic. And one of my favorite sayings is the truth will set you free because a lot of the time we're not willing to face that truth. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to put things in front of it than to look at it for what it is sometimes. Yeah. And who wouldn't? We're human, right? Mm. Yeah. Like, that's just the way it is. But we can learn and um, be inspired to be more our, thought, our authentic self. So, yeah. If that's what you can take away today, then happy days. Yeah. That was fun. It was really good. Yeah. Nice one. Awesome. Okay. We're happy with that. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. See you, everyone. Bye.